What's shaking? It's me and I'm back for another video over here. All right, all right, all right. And I thought I would show you guys, look at my crazy hair, um, what I do to get ready. Trimming my beard up and shaving and washing my face and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna take a shower here in just a few hours because I'm gonna go to my home group meeting tonight with my good Judy Tanya and another friend of ours. But I thought I would show you this first. I was actually gonna do a video where I was just kind of like laying in bed. I had been thinking about this stuff last night. Do you ever like lay in bed as you're going to sleep and it's like your, your head just kind of like spins and spins and spins? So I was uh, laying in bed last night. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, okay? <laughs> Before we even get into this video. I'm just gonna show you how I trim my beard and then <clears throat> I go around here and down here and right here and I um, shave it with this Harry's razor. And I'll show you how I change that and everything. And then I'm gonna use this Art of Shaving shaving cream, which I totally swear by. I have about that much left of it. This is peppermint, I believe, and um, a peppermint essential oil. And I got this for like Christmas time and stuff, but it's really nice for winter. And then I'm gonna wash my face with the Harry's face wash, which I love right now. And then I'm gonna use a little of this aftershave um, balm, Ice Cold by Duke Cannon. I usually just put on a vino lotion because I swear by it, but I am going to um, use this aftershave instead, just around here, and then put the Aveeno lotion over it, and then spray it with this Post Shave Mist by Harry's, which I love, and um, calms and refreshes, it's so nice. So anyway, I wanted to tell you all that, so before I could get into it, uh, or get into this little conversation, I could tell you what I was doing. So this is kind of like a get ready with me a little bit. I got this sample kit from Drunk Elephant, and I just have to tell you, I think it's total crap. I don't like it at all. So anyway, I was gonna do this video since I know that everybody wants to know every little thing. Here, maybe I'll put this up here. Look at that a little bit. Um, this is a Braun razor, and it's my favorite, and I put it on number five on the side. I used to um, trim my eyebrows with this as well, but I went one night, we were, this is a couple years ago, one night we were going out and um, I was trimming up my eyebrows and I trimmed half of my eyebrow to about here. And so I was like, I'm never doing that again. I don't trust myself. So anyway, um, I was laying in bed last night. I also have this, okay, my hair, my hairstylist told me this, the hair is right here and right here. They grow in different directions. So um, it, like this one right here, you'll see when I get it done, I don't know if you really will see it today or not, but like it goes down this way and then it goes that way. It just, it drives me crazy. Anyway. I was laying in bed last night because we had like 11 inches of snow. So I decided not to go vlog last night. I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed early. I look like a hot mess, don't I? I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed early and then I'll vlog tomorrow. So I wasn't like super, super tired when I went to sleep. And I really try to put my phone down for like a half an hour before I go to bed. So I'm not like connected, my mind's not connected to social media or the internet or anything. <clears throat> It was something that my counselor suggested a couple years ago, and also I read in an article that if you uh, kind of disconnect like a half an hour to an hour before you go to bed, you're supposed to have better sleep. My beard is not that long. I just trimmed it on Valentine's Day, so two days ago. So I'm just kind of trimming it up a little bit. I used to keep it, I used to trim it with a one, but just with like some five o'clock shadow. I don't do that anymore. 
I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this when I do this, but it doesn't really matter. Then I go in and I kind of like fix the line of my beard. When I was thinner, it kind of made a difference because you could actually see my jawline, but now it doesn't really matter because I'm so heavy. I try to get it the same on either side. I'm, I never do though. But anyway. I usually miss a couple hairs. So I used to, um, before I would go to bed, I would do like my prayers and meditations. Um, I would actually do my prayers on the stairs as I was coming upstairs and then I would do my meditations downstairs and I did a written gratitude list and I read that every night. And, um, and then I would come upstairs and I would do kind of like my, my nighttime routine. If you guys want to see it some night, I'll do it. I actually, I haven't done it in a while. And I would wash my face, and people used to laugh at me because I would wash it with Mrs. Meyer's <laughs> face soap. And I actually have like real face wash now. But then I would go in and I would do, you know, some kind of like lip scrub, like here's bubble gum from Lush. And then I would do, um, well, I have a whole nighttime routine that I used to do with like a uh, Laneige lip uh, mask and all kinds of stuff. And then I would go and I would lay down and my mind would, you know, I hadn't been on my phone for like a half an hour. So I was kind of just detached from the world. But anyway, so I was thinking last night because my mind was just kind of spinning and I always think about the silliest stuff. And I actually, I wrote it down. Is my phone in there? Where did I? I wrote it down in my phone. Hold on a second because I wanted to talk about it. Do you guys ever do that? Do you ever? I haven't made the bed yet today. I have to do that next. But um, do you ever like write stuff down? Well, I was thinking. This is what I was thinking about. Was it was so funny because Alex and I. Does your water take a long time to heat up? Our water takes forever to heat up. Alex and I were talking, and you know when he comes home from work, I'll be like, "How was your day, babe?" And he'll say, "Good." And how was your day? And I'll say, you know, like what exciting happened today and stuff. And I kind of learned that from my mom because back in the day. Like, I wasn't allowed to say with school, like, it was fine. I had to say something I learned, something good that happened. This water is so cold. Um, so I had to learn all, you know, say all that so that we would have a conversation about school. And I think I kind of learned it back then because today, even, like, when Alex and I are having a conversation, you know, I'll say, like, how was your day? Like, what exciting happened? You know, we talk about lunch, all kind of stuff. But I was thinking about how, and it actually happened while I was vlogging yesterday, um, I always want to get my hair really like white and silver and it's funny because like on this video It's really showing up as white and silver today But I was um, a friend of mine out of the blue texted me yesterday that I honest to God had not talked to in like 15 years like a sober friend of mine and it was funny because You know when you when you're sober and you haven't talked to somebody in that long one of the first questions typically that people ask is like are you still sober you know And, uh, here, let's put this down a little bit so you can, because <laughs> it's so exciting to see somebody shave, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, who cares, right? But anyway, what's so great about this is that you can just put it all over your hands like this. And you can just get, now, mind you, if I was just getting ready myself, I would not have a t-shirt on, okay? I would just be shaving with no shirt on. But I don't think anybody wants to see that. Or maybe you do, I don't know, but <laughs> um, I'm not comfortable showing that, so we're not gonna show that. Anyway, um, so I was thinking about this friend of mine that called me or texted me yesterday and it was so nice to hear from him you know and it was so strange because I hadn't thought of him in so long and I was thinking about you know first of all it's weird because I hadn't talked to him in so long that <clears throat> If I said to Alex, like, Alex doesn't even know who this person is. I mean, it was a good friend of mine, but it wasn't somebody that was like, 
They may have come up in stories like three or four times through the years. But not enough that I think that my husband will remember them, you know? Oh, I didn't put a new razor blade on there, but oh well. So anyway, I didn't mention it to him. And I thought, isn't it funny? All of the things that happen throughout the day. By the way, just ignore my shower. <laughs> that needs to be clean from soap scrub, scrub back there. But I thought, isn't it crazy all the things that happen in a day? Okay? Like all of the little things that happen that are like just moments of our days that are really so ins insignificant to share with somebody else. So we don't really ever tell them. Like something maybe you just see on the side of the road or a thought you're having in your head while you're listening to music and you never share it with anybody else. You never tell anybody else. And really what it made me realize is what like kind of like, even though, you know, I have Alex and my best friend and family and my sponsor that I talk to on a regular basis, we really live pretty isolated lives, all of us, you know, within our own thoughts. And this is what I wrote down because I wanted to share it um, in a video. I said, oh my gosh, where is it? Recently deleted notes? Hmm, notes? Did I not write it down? Did I dream that I wrote it down? Oh, that's so crazy because the only thing I have is our vet appointment in here. I don't know where I wrote it down. I must have wrote, written it down and deleted it. Hmm. Hold on a second because I also wanted to show um, my collection of smelly stickers. So I know I wrote that down. I must have written it down in a dream. Is that not so crazy? Well, it was really good. <laughs> it was really good what I wrote down. <laughs> But now I was, like, this is where my mind goes, like, late at night, you know? I was thinking, isn't it so strange? This smells so good. This Harry said you can get this at Target. I just blew water all over the place. But I thought all of those thoughts, you know? All of those things that have happened... in my life and and then I was wondering you know like all of the things that have ha that happened in my mom's life or in Alex's life or in Tanya's life that random things that I'll never know you know that they don't ever tell anybody we don't share those small things with people you know and I'm realizing slowly that this channel is becoming less of a Peter does stuff channel and more of look at my crazy hair and more of a, um, here's the, the after shading motion, and more of a, an essayist channel, isn't it? Kind of like just Peter's thoughts about things while I'm doing things, but the reality is, it smells like eucalyptus. The reality is, this is the Avino lotion. But that's kind of just my life. Like, I'm constantly thinking of things while I'm doing stuff. Unless I'm driving around listening to an audiobook, I find myself not even really like, sometimes I like to listen to music now, but really I like to just listen to, si or just be in silence. And just my thoughts, you know? Which is so crazy. I used to find that put a little cologne on for me. I used to find that I had to have something on in the background, the TV, music, because I think maybe I was kind of afraid of being alone with my thoughts, you know? Because I could get very sad or whatever. And I don't mind being sad anymore. And I, I don't mind like thinking about this stuff, but sometimes 
Here, wait. Go into the other room. But sometimes, you know, when I think about, oh man, sometimes when I think about, like, I, I that I can like throughout the period of a day. All of the hundreds of hundreds and thousands of thoughts that I have. Just even right now, you know, like that I'm not, I, for a second I went off and I started thinking about pee pee and I don't, you know, because we were in bed last night and we were talking about pee pee and it was funny because we were watching RuPaul's Drag Race last night and, um, the, uh, Simone on RuPaul's Drag Race, she had a character that she named Deborah, and I used to do, um, this voice for Pee Pee, and I used to say that Pee Pee was this, um, this, like, he, this old child actor, and he would lay in bed, and he would call his assistant, and her name was Deborah, and he'd go, Deborah, Deborah, I'm writing my memoirs, my memoirs, kind of like Auntie Mame, <clears throat> and so when we were in bed, I said to Alex, I said, do you remember when I used to say that about Pee Pee with Deborah? And he was like, yeah. And I could kind of tell he didn't really want to talk about it, I guess. Sometimes it's hard to talk about Pee Pee because we get real sad, you know. But sometimes I just like to talk about him because I miss him. And this is our little chihuahua that passed away. And um, right here, I have it. Mel, my book club partner, she made me this. This looks like a little Pee Pee and he's got wings on it. You can go to Mel's, uh, her Instagram, Ginger Gonzo Reads, and she also has, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but if you go to her, Ginger Gonzo Reads, <laughs> Ginger Gonzo Reads, and, um, it, it'll tell you what the name of her crochet Instagram is, and I can't remember it, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mel, but you can, uh, get one made for your little dog. It doesn't even have, your or cat, or whatever, but they don't even have to have been passed on. But I used to do this funny thing where I would say, um, there was this movie, and I can't remember what the movie was, but it was just like this little chihuahua, and it was a, a female chihuahua. And it was, and I would say, Pete, I would say, Alex, I said, um, PB wants to get um, a little sister, and he wants to name her Julie, because I always wanted to get another chihuahua back then. And he would just say no. He would just believe, like he would say no. No, he doesn't. And I would say, yeah, he wants to get another chihuahua, and he wants to name her Julie. And um. So I said to him last night, I said, do you remember Pee-Pee's girlfriend, Julie? And Alex said, no. And I said, you don't remember me talking about Pee-Pee wanting to get a, a, a little sister name? He goes, I remember him wanting to get a little sister and naming her Julie. But I don't remember anything about him having a girlfriend. Here, I'm putting out the, what do you call it, deal. The, so I can lay down and talk for a second. He's like, but I don't remember anything about... I just love to get into bed and be cozy. He said, but I don't remember anything about a girlfriend named Julie. And I go, well, it wasn't his girlfriend. And I said, it was just he wanted a little sister and he wanted to name her Julie. So anyway, all of the thoughts that go through my head, I still do this uh, every night before I go to bed, this magic rock. And, um... You're supposed to hold on to it. This was from the book, The Magic, by Rhonda Byrne. And I hold on to it, and I think about all of my... Um, by the way, I sleep like this. With Alex always laughs at me. Well, he doesn't laugh anymore because I've done it for so long. But I sleep with my um, arm underneath, my fist underneath my chest, uh, or chin, like this. And then I always put one hand underneath my head like this. But anyway, I hold on to this. And I think about all of the good things that happen through all the day, all the good moments. And then I pick the best one. And it's crazy because recently what I've realized is it's always the smallest moments of the day, you know? It's always the just taking the dogs out and letting them run around in the yard or, you know, like listening to an audiobook for a little bit and... Last night, seeing the snowfall, so pretty. Or laughing with Alex over something stupid, you know? Just some stupid funny joke or TikTok or something that'll show me. Yeah. 
Anyway. I am completely perplexed by where that message went in my phone. <laughs> what happened? Anyway, I don't even know what this video is supposed to be. It started off, I wanted to just lay in bed and I was gonna share with you my thoughts about all of these rambling thoughts we have throughout the day that really when somebody says to you, how was your day? How do you even explain that? Like, how do you even explain how was your day when you have had hundreds of thoughts that you can't even possibly explain to somebody else? So I guess that's how the video was gonna start, but then I thought, well, I should probably do something since it's called Peter Does Stuff. <laughs> So, I decided to shave, and, and now I ended up in bed. Anyway. Welcome to my world. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.